This is part three, brothers and sisters, part three of Why Good Friday Just Ain't No Good. I was at the mall today, yeah. and the parents had their children, their babies, sitting on the lap of a man dressed up in a rabbit outfit. <laughs> let, let, let me show them, Brother Julius, uh, where Easter came from, according to, and you can look this up in your Wikipedia. You can look this up on your internet, on your Google search engine. Let's see. Your if, dictionary, your encyclopedia. Go to the history. Go to the library. Sisters and brothers, Jesus told you, take heed that no man deceive you. And he said that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Here we go. This is called Ancient Origins. Okay. Ancientorigins.net. And look up Easter. Ancientorigins.net. What do it say, Ice? Let me read it to him, Brother Julius. It says right hmm. here. Easter Sunday is a festival and a holiday celebrated by millions of people around not, the world. Not Holy Day. Festival. Celebrated by millions of people around the world who honor the resurrection of Jesus Christ from mm -hmm. the dead. Mm -hmm. Described in the New Testament as having occurred three days after his crucifixion at Calvary. It is also the day that the children excitedly wait for the Easter bunny to minute. arrive and deliver their treats mm -hmm. of chocolate eggs. Uh -huh. Easter is a movable feast which is chosen. Movable? To correspond movable. with the first Sunday. Movable. It's movable. Wait a minute. The Passover the, is, is, is the first day, the 14th day of the uh, a month at evening. Right. That's established. That's not movable. Come on. So no matter when it falls. <laughs> wow. So it says right here. Movable. It says right here. Most historians, including biblical scholars, agree that Easter was originally a pagan Festival. No, 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 no. That can't be. Black eyes, my uh, mother, uh, my um, grandmother. They didn't know no better, Brother Julius. But we got the internet. We got the information. It says most historians, including biblical scholars, agree that Easter was originally a pagan festival. According to the New Ungers Bible Dictionary, uh -huh. says the word Easter is of Saxon origin. Anglo-Saxon origins? The Gentiles? Estra, the goddess of spring. The Germans call her Oster. In whose honor sacrifices were offered about Passover time each year. Oh, so now I understand how when the Romans conquered the known world, they conquered you physically, but then they conquered you spiritually. And they uh, they absorb whatever gods you worship, and then they commingle their gods. With your gods, and came up with all this falsehood. Remember, the Lord gave you holy days, the feast of the Lord, and man gave you holidays. Mm. Where did egg come from, Black Ice? Wow. The egg represents, brothers and sisters, um, new life. The egg represents new life because this was the time of year when things in nature replenished itself. Spring. Grass grew back out of the ground. Spring. Leaves grew back from the trees. Spring. Animals that were in hibernation came out of hibernation. Spring time. So they said that the land was fertile. So they came up with a god of fertility and they called her Esther. They called her Easter. And another word that was used to name her was Demetria. And the, ba the Babylonians called her Ishtar. Notice Easter, Ishtar. Goddess of fertility, because the word means spring. So, brothers and sisters, anybody that you know named Demetrius, Demetria, Demeter, all of that is the name of the goddess of fertility, brothers and sisters. Look it up for yourself. So, we names. Have to, so we have to take a detour. And that's why the rabbit is used, because the rabbit is a fertile animal. And back in the day, when people were having sex a lot, they say, man, you're having sex like a jackrabbit. They didn't use the word sex, but you, you get the point, because a, wow. a, a rabbit is a very fertile animal. Wow. An egg represents new life. Wow. So during this time of the year of spring season, when things in nature repopulated itself, they gave honor and they paid homage to a female goddess named Esther, and if you look up the image of wow. Easter, type in the image of Easter, you're going to see a naked woman with big, subtle, subtle breast. 
like there's breast milk in the breast, brothers and sisters, wow. because it represented plentifulness and good life. I'm gonna tell so, you, I'm gonna tell you, sisters and brothers. I got, I, I got to tell them. Got, when you really go deep into what Easter and what the pagans did, it will make you vomit. They had, they had sex orgies, brothers and sisters. Look it up. Around this time of year, and a lot of the Romans. The men slept with little boys around this time of the year, brothers and sisters. Sounds like something that's Mardi, Mardi, Mardi Gras. Mardi, brothers, you know what? I'm going to leave that alone. Brothers and do sisters, your own research. This was the time of the year when orgies were taking place because, again, the, the, the people wanted to emulate nature. If nature was plentiful, let us impregnate. Let us have orgies. Let us have sex. Wow. The goddess of fertility. Look it up, brothers and sisters. That's all we're telling you. Don't take our word for it. Look it up. But Black Ice, my question is, is it possible to believe in, in, in something and to worship what you call God or worship his death and resurrection? Can you do it and do it in vain? Not only could you do it in vain, you could do it, brothers and sisters, and be absolutely wrong. Although your heart, you mean well, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. But look how many people on the scene when Jesus came and they were teachers during his time. Can I go to the scriptures? Let's go. Let's go back to go to St. John. Go uh -huh. to St. John, the fourth chapter, black guys. Go to St. John, the fourth chapter. Now we read this in New Testament. This is the New Testament. Sister so you can't, you can't say, oh, y'all just talk from the uh -huh. Old Testament. Uh -huh. No, brothers and sisters, we go to the New Testament. John. St. John. Uh -huh. St. John, chapter four. St. John chapter 4. Remember, we have already uh -huh. read in the book of Daniel, the ninth cha chapter, that Jesus was killed on a Wednesday. And we've already showed you that a day starts at sundown. Yes. Not 1201, but sundown. And we already showed you where the first day of the week, uh -huh. as defined by Wikipedia, is Sunday. Is Jesus the Christ the author and the finisher of our faith? Absolutely. Is he the author of this book? Absolutely. So... Can we put him on the witness stand? Let's put Jesus on the witness stand. Jesus, tell us about you. Tell us about the God and you and the Father, which is called God. Mm -hmm. Start at verse 24, Black Eyes. John 4 and 24, yes. and it reads, this is Jesus' answer. Yes. God is a spirit. Yes. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and, and in truth. In what? In truth. In spirit and in truth. Back up and read verse 23. Not paganism, brothers and in sisters. Spirit not and in spirit. Not festivals, truth. but in truth. Yes. 23. Verse, verse 23. But the hour cometh, uh -huh. and now is, uh -huh. when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit uh -huh. and in truth. And in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. So the Lord put the desire for us to worship God in us or whatever God that you believe in. However, he put that desire, but he won't. He said, worship me in spirit and truth. But he told you in the Ten Commandments, what's the first commandment, Black Eyes? Thou shalt have what? No God beside no me. No other mm -hmm. gods beside me. Mm -hmm. I don't want you making no images. But the bottom line is you can worship what you believe in God. And the tradition that you believe come from God and yet do it in vain. One more place, Black Eyes. I hate to tell you, brothers and sisters, not only did not God give you a rabbit or an egg, but he did not give you no cross either. He told you that. Or a sun, or a moon, Wait a or a star, Wait a minute. or a fish to put on the back of your car, hey man, why or you... a dove. Or... I'm sorry, brother. Why are you stepping on people's toes? You know what? Maybe we need it. That's the only thing that straightened me out. What spirit, brother Julius? The spirit of truth. It's invisible, right? If you worship me in spirit, in other words, you can look all around you yes. and see the evidence of my existence yes. without having to create something to show you that I exist. Thou shalt not make unto thyself any, any, I'm sorry, brothers any and graven image. Let's get back to our lesson. Hey man, hey man, Matthew the 15th chapter. Matthew 15. Matthew 15. I'm going to read verse 9. Uh, read verse 9 to the black guys. Matthew 15. Matthew now, 15. Now, we read this out of the mouth of God himself. Matthew 15. Uh-huh, Matthew 15. And read verse 9. 15, 15 and 9. 9 and uh -huh. it reads, But in vain... Uh-uh, uh, -uh, they, uh, uh Back up to verse... Uh, mm, we got to read verse 6. Matthew 15 and 6. And honor not his father or his mother, uh -huh. he shall be free. Yes. Thus have you made the commandment of God of none effect by, by what? By your tradition. By your traditions. You make the word of God of none effect. By your traditions. Come on, Ice. You hypocrite. I didn't write it. Black Ice didn't say it. I didn't say it. This is God. He called, He made us. He know what we are. He know his true worshipers and who not. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm reading a book. 
Come on, Isaiah. Well, seven. did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, "What did Isaiah say? This people draw off nigh unto me with they, their mouth. Lip service. You come near to me with your lip, with your mouth, yeah, and honor me with their lips. Yes, but their heart is far from That's me. That's the mind because you've been given another mind. Didn't we read in some of our other lesson, Black Eyes, that he said if they come, Paul told you about the preaching of another way. Of another gospel and An another Jesus. And another Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on, and another doctrine. Mm -hmm. Come on, Ice. Verse 9. But yes. in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Uh huh. And he called the multitude. That's good, but in vain. Mm -hmm. They do worship me. That's why he said those that worship me must worship me in spirit and truth. But you worship me in vain, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Brother Julius, we got five minutes left on the show. Oh, my gosh. Let's go ahead and get to. After the crucifixion, brothers and sisters, because uh -huh. we want you to get a pen and paper, uh -huh. and we're going to count these days. Remember, we're telling you that Jesus was killed on a Wednesday, according to the prophecy according of Daniel. To the prophecy. So we're going to count these days. So let's go ahead and get into the meat and heart of our subject, which is why Good Friday just ain't no good because the math don't add up. Yeah. You can't get three days and three nights from Friday to Sunday, brothers let's and sisters. Let's go to Matthew. Let's uh -huh. go to Matthew. Uh -huh. The... 22nd chapter. Um, let's see here. Matthew. We, because we got to we gotta show the people this black eyes. Matthew, because the Lord told you that he was going to be in his grave for three days and three nights. That's what he said. Matthew the 12th chapter. Matthew 12. Matthew 12. Matthew the 12th chapter. And let's start at verse 38. Matthew 12. Now, now this is Jesus himself again on the witness stand concerning his death. And resurrection. Matthew 12 and 38. Come on. And it reads, Then certain of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. We want, we want to show us a sign. Give us a sign. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh out the sign. An evil and what? Adulterous generation. What is the world now, Ice? Evil and adulterous. Yeah, brother. I, I, hey, if it hits me, it hits me. But it's the truth. It's and the truth. there shall no sign be given to it uh -huh. but the sign of the prophet Jonah. Wait a minute. In order to be, to be, uh, so if you're a New Testament Christian, how you going to know what the, what the prophet Jonah, what the sign of him was? If you don't read the book of Jonah. Come on. Ice. Verse 40. Yeah. For as Jonah was three days three and days. three nights in the whale's belly. No, 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 no. You missed the nights. Three days and three nights. So you got to have the nights. Well, we're going to write that down too. We got to have three days uh -huh. and three nights. Yes. So shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So how long is Jesus prophesied to be dead? Jerusalem is the and last sin of the earth. Not only dead, but in the grave. Three days and three nights. Three days Let's and move it on, nights. Brother Julius. Wow. Wow. So now they crucified him, right? Uh -huh. They arrested him and they crucified him. So now he rose from the dead. But when did he rise, Black Ice? When did he rise? Let's go to Matthew. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go to Matthew, because we got to show the people, black guys, Matthew 12, uh, 28 chapter. Matthew. He dead, right? Matthew 28 chapter. Uh -huh. Now we got to count these days, brothers and sisters. Matthew. No, no. Go to 27. Matthew 27. Matthew 27. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Again, we got to get three days and three nights. Jesus is dead. Jesus is dead now. Matthew 27. Let's show you that he was dead. Matthew now. 27. And let's pick it up at verse 50. And we're going to skip. Matthew 27 and 50. Come on, Ice. And it reads, Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. So now he died. Now, verse 57, Ice. 57. Verse 57. Read it. When the evening was come. When what was come? The evening was come. Go ahead. There came a rich man of Arimathea, Arimathea named Joseph. Yes. Who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He was also a Pharisee. Come on, Ice. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Because Jesus was actually dead. Go ahead, Ice. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in clean linen uh -huh. and laid it in his own new tomb, uh -huh. which he had hewn out, he, he out, out, in cut the out of the rock. Yes. And he rolled a great stone um, to the door of the sepulcher, uh -huh. sepulcher and departed. That's his grave site. Go ahead. And there was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre. So Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. Now, what happened? But, but wait a minute, Julius. When did it say he came? <laughs> he said at evening, right? At evening. This is when Joseph came. Go ahead. Because okay. he begged Pilate for the body. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. At 62. 62. Yeah. Now, the next day that followed the day of the preparation, uh -huh. the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that 
the deceiver said while remember, remember while he that, was that yet alive, wait a minute they called Jesus while a, he was alive or what a deceiver come on stay tuned brothers and sisters we're going to end this we're going to go ahead and we got to do a fourth part to this but we can write into the meat and the heart of we're our gonna, subject we're going to pick it up right here we're going to pick it up right here brothers and sisters but we're going to give you these three days and three nights and this last part part four right yes. here and we're going to show you that he was killed on a Wednesday and we're going to show you when he was resurrected. And we're going to show you without mm. a shadow of a doubt, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that it was not on a Friday. This is part three of Why Good Friday Just Ain't No Good. good Stay Friday, tuned for part Friday, four. Bad Friday, in between Friday.